An application loads 100 libraries at startup. Loading each library requires exactly one disk access. That means for 100 libraries, 100 disk accesses will be required. The seek time of the disk to a random location is given as 10 milliseconds and the rotation speed is 6000 rotations per minute. If all 100 libraries are loaded from random locations on the disk, how long does it take to load all the libraries? The time to transfer data from the disk block once the head has been positioned at the start of the block may be neglected. So the data transfer time that has to be neglected and now we have to see how much time will be required to load these 100 libraries. So we have to take into account the seek time and the rotational latency. So seek time has been given to us as 10 millisecond. Rotational speed is 6000 rotations per minute. That means 6000 rotations in 60 seconds. So how many in one second? That would be 6000 divided by 60. That would be one second. But what is considered as average low rotational latency is how much time is required for half a rotation? So if we look at this, 6000 rotations in 60 seconds, that means one rotation in 60 upon 6000 rotations. So this is seconds. Half a rotation would be this multiplied by half. And if we convert it into milliseconds, because the seek time has also been given in milliseconds, we will have to multiply this by a thousand. So 60 into thousand divided by 6000 into two, which is five milliseconds. So this is the average rotational latency. So the time to load one library is the seek time plus the rotational latency plus the data transfer time. In the question, it has been given that this we can neglect this. So the time to load for one library would be 10 plus 5, which is 15 milliseconds. So time to load 100 libraries would be 15 into 100, which is 1500 millisecond or 1.5 seconds. So this option B is the correct answer.